the Cyber Central scheme came about because back in 2012, the UK government ran a very, very successful programme called 10 Steps to Cyber Security. They took feedback on that programme and industry were generally very accepting of it, but one of the criticisms they made that there was no security standard out there that they could adhere to to ensure that they'd uh, complied with the 10 steps that the government recommended. So what the government did, they sat down with their own internal experts and industry leaders and developed the Cyber Essentials scheme. The commercial arm of GCHQ named CSG were um, the government experts that contributed to setting up the uh, certification process. And in industry, organisations such as Crest and IASME, who've been doing certifications similar to this for a long time, were consulted and helped develop the process and are still very active in delivering the process and accreditation scheme. The Cyber Essentials programme has two different levels of um, certification. One is the basic level of certification and also they offer a Cyber Essentials Plus which is the advanced level of certification. The basic or standard level of certification is basically a self-assessment uh, for the company involved in it, whereas there are about 100 questions which a company director or the IT department would need to go through, answer those accurately and honestly, and then sign off to say that those are, have been answered to the best of your ability. Uh, once that is completed, it gets submitted for assessment. A third party then assesses the fact that um, the answers that you've given and will award accreditation or not based on the answers that have been submitted. As part of that, you will get cyber liability insurance uh, for the company and you'll have the badge to display on your website or on your corporate literature. Cyber Essentials Plus then involves a third party verifying all the answers you gave in your Cyber Essentials Basic questionnaire by means of an audit. So what generally would happen would be a third party consultant, an expert, would come in, perform an audit within your network, verify all the answers you've given were accurate, and then also look at things such as your website security and your external uh, internet facing activity. The Cyber Essential Scheme was brought to our attention by Capital Network Solutions and I knew immediately it was something we'd like to achieve. It offered us the opportunity to perform stress tests on our network and in gaining the accreditation we can demonstrate that we're taking all reasonable precautions to prevent our business from external intrusion, which is something any decent business would like to know. The Cyber Essentials accreditation was quite a straightforward process for us. The first element involved an internal assessment by our own IT team and then the Cyber Essentials Plus involved the external auditing by Capital Network Solutions. When we went through the uh, requirements, it was quite apparent that we had the majority of the requirements already there, and with a few minor changes, we were able to obtain the accreditation. The questionnaire is fully available online, and if an organisation wishes to, to work through it themselves, um, without the input from a certifying body, then they're welcome to do so, and just engage with the certifying body at the end to, to um, issue the certificate if they meet the standard. Alternatively, organisations could engage with a certifying body such as ourselves, Capital Network Solutions. We could assist them in working through the questionnaire as, as much or as little as, as they were comfortable with and we could manage that process in its entirety for them so that it wasn't something that was unachievable or unobtainable for their organisation. We find that even within companies that do take um, cyber security very seriously, they do not audit their, um, their cyber security uh, profile. Uh, so we find with Cyber Essentials Plus, we'll actually give the company confidence that an independent body has come in and audited um, what they think they're doing to be actually accurate. And we found in some cases that isn't the case. So in, in, with all good faith, their IT department have um, implemented changes and implemented good security measures, but for some reason they're not quite working or um, they haven't been updated. Uh, whereas the audit will actually tell you, as uh, give you a snapshot at that point in time, whether your cyber security is at the standard you think it is uh, based on the investment you've made in it. For those organisations in Wales who do achieve the cyber essentials, it really can differentiate them from their competitors and open up whole new marketplaces and opportunities for them um, to expand their business and that can only be a good thing for the Welsh economy. An example of this could be breaking into new supply chains, working with new stakeholders or even opening up the opportunity of being able to bid for government contracts which require strict cyber security credentials. 
Yeah, Cyber Essential is also very useful for us because it gives us a framework so we know what's expected of us as a company to achieve these goals. And these goals have been set out and this framework has been set out by, by the government and some experts within the industry so we know that if we achieve those goals then we are protected uh, against many internet-based attacks and cyber security threats. Um, therefore, when we bring new employees on, it's very easy for us to tell them what is expected of them because we go through the programme, let them know what's expected of them and how they fit into that programme so that every employee has an awareness of cyber security and knows what's expected of them within the company to maintain the security of our company.